Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to tie the Bachman knot. Um, I previously made an episode for this knot already, but it was at scale. Uh, I'm using an accessory carabiner and paracord. So now that I have my actual, you know, sewn loop here, I'm going to show you at proper scale. So this is the Bachman knot, or hitch rather. Um, well, it's both. Um, it functions essentially as a friction hitch, and also here is comes out as a connection point where you will or you would um, connect to your harness and this portion here can be used like a hand ascender so that's pretty great um, it'll descend as well but it would not be my descending hitch of choice um, so here's how you tie it. Okay. So first step is get your loop in order. This is a 25 inch 7 millimeter Prusik loop. It is sewn here to connect the ends and you want to start with the sewn connection point here off to the side and have a clean loop here and then as much unaffected by you know any sewing areas going up and the first step is to open up your carabiner and put the end of the loop through it and then depending on which direction you want the you know the connection point to come out if you want it to come out towards you then, which everyone should, um, you, but unless you're maybe rigging, I don't know, there could be other applications for why, or reasons why you would want it facing away from you, but traditionally you want it facing towards you, and so you start on top of the rope. And then you can, at this point, if you, if you don't, I have a triple action gate here, so it's kind of a pain to keep opening to let this in, but that is a way you can do it if you have a regular gate um, that, you know, is not a puzzle to open every time. So for me, I find it just easier to string it through. Keep, there's no like um, real, I would at least go around three times, but I like to completely make the, or for the most part, make the spine of the carabiner disappear under the cordage. Because even though this is almost like a clem heist, because the carabiner is inserted in between the rope and the hitch, there's less friction. So there you go. I went around one, two, three, four times. And very easy to use, very easy to tie. Um, a little bit of a pain to untie. I hear there is a method where you can somehow get this top loop off. Um, but 
that must be if the carabiner is facing right side up and you don't want it facing right side up because um, it could potentially, it's possible that it could untie that way um, should the gate happen to find its way open. Um, it's less likely for that to happen if the gate or the carabiner is upside down. At least that's what I read. So, um, yeah, I really don't feel like tying this again, so that's what you're going to have to work with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like um, or subscribe. Thanks so much. This has been The Bachman.